It's been a pretty good year for you so far. Did you expect to start this season as fast and as well as it's turned out? Mm, I think I dream about that, of course. But uh, yeah, it was a little surprise. The season start is always uh, a little bit difficult. You are, even if you know that you have been training well, like uh, I did in the summer, and I felt pretty confident about my shooting and skiing, but you haven't raced against the others, so you never know if the others have had like a super summer. What changed after Vancouver that made you the biathlete you always thought you could be? You have to remember that I started to shoot when I was 20 years, so it took some time, a little bit, probably more time than from the athletes who start shooting when they are teenagers. So I just had to accept that for me it takes longer time. I, I have always felt uh, comfortable on my skis and uh, I'm a little bit more nervous on the shooting range than on the tracks. But uh, I, I want to think that uh, they are also I can be a very good shooter. If I, if I should skip ski training or shooting training, I always skip the shooting one. <laughs> Everyone knows you like to wear that yellow bib. Do you feel like it's a burden sometimes having that target on your back? Uh, maybe sometimes, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, of course it's, it's nice to have it. But now when the gap is uh, going smaller and smaller, Somehow I wish that maybe one day I, I would be like on the Daria spot, just try to challenge her because it's, it's not always that easy. It's fun, it's fun chasing it sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, I like pursuits. <laughs> one of my best races was actually the Untold uh, pursuit when I won just in the last uh, uh, meter, the bronze, or like the third place. But I really like the race. It, it gives you much more energy and the feelings when you really have to fight. It's almost a year now since you won three times in Kantiolati. Looking back on that, what does that feel like? Because I mean, that had to be as special as it gets in your career at this point. Yeah, it was awesome. I never expect that. And I remember we were in the press conference before the first sprint with Mari and we were laughing that probably we will do better on, on the first sprint because it was no pursuit coming up. And then in the first sprint I, I won and she was third. So it was pretty amazing night, but I don't actually remember that much about <laughs> that weekend. It was a little bit crazy just going to the races and then after, afterwards so much media things and everything. And, and then you realize on Sunday, oh, I won three races. <laughs> was it nice to do that at home and be able to go sleep in your own bed afterwards? Yeah, it was nice. And I'm really waiting for the World Champs when I can leave at home. All the long days when you have to wait for the evening races to start, it's, I think that it will be more relaxed to be at home. Speaking about those World Championships and the fact that you got a few extra trainings in, how many times have you skied over those loops at Kantiolati? It's now more than 10 years, every winter and also in the summertime, so for sure I know the tracks and I'm also pretty lucky that Kantiolati tracks really suit for me, so I like the uphills there. But I think that the biggest challenge is to forget that we are in the, my home World Championships because it can give you some uh, too much pressure. I felt it last year in Sotsi when everybody was expecting a lot from me. And, uh, but I hope that uh, the um, home atmosphere would, be, would, would work also this year because it worked out pretty well 2012 and also last year. For you, and looking at the rest of the season, would you be happy with any medal in Conti Lati or is the only thought gold? I think that I would be very happy with any medal because in biathlon it's so small things which matters, which can change the color of the medal or you are out from the medals. 
and now the last year in Sotsi and the world champs here, I was always one uh, oh, one penalty loop too far away from the medals. So I think that if I if I can be on the podium at least once, I would be very happy. I found um, one of my diaries in my old website. What I wrote at that at that time when Contiolati got these world championships, I wrote there that yeah, I'll be 32 then, I'm probably too old, so it's cool that we got the world championships, but probably you will not see me there. Are you still pretty unknown when you're at home? And is that a good thing or a bad thing? But the Finnish people, they just tell your friend that, look, look who was there, but they don't come to talk to me that easily, so... Yeah, no, 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 so it's okay. Even at home in the grocery store, people notice you? I think that they, they know who I am, at least if I go there on my ski boots right after the training. <laughs> but uh, but uh, it's, it's no problem for me. Give me a couple of words about each of your current rivals. Dasha? Perfect skiing technique. Dorothea Weir? Very fast shooter. Laura Dahlmeyer? A very, very big young talent. Sukalova? She reminds me a little bit uh, of Helena Eckholm. Uh, Valya Semarenko. Really stable. What's the best thing about biathlon? You never know what happens. The worst thing? You never know what happens. <laughs> I think so.